the side of the road near Hudson Hope and we're getting ready to go for a short hike up a mountain. The weather is amazing. It's super clear out, actually kind of warm, but it uh, should be a fun little hike. There it is, Bullhead Mountain Trail, going up to a lookout at the top. Uh, I think it's a fire lookout. It says it's 1.6 kilometers one way, and it's a pretty steep climb. Looks like you could take your motorcycle or ATV on this trail as well. It's kind of hard to tell from video, I'm sure, but this trail just goes straight up the mountain. <laughs> oh boy. Pretty amazing. We've got the reservoir created by the dam right over there with some mountains in the background. just gotta say this hike is turning out to be a lot tougher than I expected it's pretty much straight up the mountain the entire way and I know it was only a mile or so up and a mile or so down but dang when it's straight up it's pretty tough but I have a feeling the view at the top will be pretty epic The view of the lake is pretty epic. 
You made it. Now we just gotta go back down. Woohoo! Straight down. Straight down the mountain. We're just gonna do roly poly style. The fastest way down. Hey everyone. We finished our hike. That was a tough one. Distance-wise, it wasn't very long, but it was like straight up the mountain and straight down the mountain. So afterwards, we stopped by Guthing, Gut, Guthing, King, King Guthing, King Guthing campground because they have uh, showers there that you can use. It's like one dollar uh, for eight minutes or 10 minutes something like that so I use the dollar coins they call them loonies uh, so you can use those to get a nice shower that was lovely uh, I feel so much better <laughs> nice and clean and now we're on our way to uh, the next potential campground uh, next to a lake excited to check that out Provincial Campground. It's one of the uh, campgrounds run by the government um, in British Columbia. These campgrounds are actually quite nice. This one is actually very nice. Um, each spot is kind of tucked away in the woods. We're right next to Moberly Lake. I can literally walk over to the lake. Uh, you can swim in it, fish in it, people boat. I saw people out there on their boats, kayaks, rafts, um, whatever you like. Uh, great place uh, and it's only 20 Canadian a night to stay here and they'll bring by firewood for you, pit toilets, garbage place disposal, water. This place is actually quite large, over a hundred sites here so it's a nice big spot. For dinner we decided to take advantage of uh, uh, using up our leftovers so we are making some chili with the leftover taco mix we added some of the corn we had left over we added some carrots we added some lentils added all that in there we're letting that simmer and cook while at the same time next to it here we are simmering some rice in there the rice should be done in about eight minutes and then we'll be ready to eat even when you're out camping you got to take advantage of your leftovers look at that dinner chili and rice put a little tex-mex cheese on it some sour cream oh my god so good so good all made outdoors. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> All right, first impressions of the chili. Go. Mm. Are you single? You want your baby? <laughs> 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 that good, huh? We thought we would come out and catch the sunset, which is supposed to be pretty nice at Moberly Lake. I'm gonna... Day 
18 and we are here at Moberly Lake. Caught an amazing sunset last night. We are doing the time tradition of oatmeal for breakfast. So yummy. And it is an another amazing day here. It is like perfect temperature. It is so warm and clear sky with a little bit of clouds just makes it so pretty. So I have no idea what the plan is for today yet. We'll figure it out as we go. Make our way further south, maybe. Maybe we never come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Head down towards Prince George, um, which is where we diverted um, on our way up because of 97 being washed out. But uh, so far it's been lovely on our way back down. We stopped off because we saw a sign that said heart shaped lake. Heart lake it's shaped like a heart. And I thought maybe I could get a drone shot from up above of the actual heart shaped lake. The lake is actually really nice. <laughs> So the wind died down and <laughs> the water isn't at the, actually that bad and the, it's super clear here. Ruth decided to dive in, which she did, you can see that. Uh, I'm just kind of putting my legs in. Um, we did find a rope swing here. So someone on this tree set up a rope swing, which looks like fun, but not sure how that works because can't really swing from the shore. You would have to climb the tree and swing from the tree. 